Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. Hey, Peter and Penny, what is Nauvoo? I've heard people talk about it a lot. Let's take a look at our restoration timeline. Today, we're in 1839 and 1840. Joseph Smith accomplished many things in his life, even the building up of cities. But no other city he had helped to build was as wonderful as the city of Nauvoo. Remember that he had been in Liberty Jail for many months, and the saints had to run from far west. When Joseph and the others ran away, they ran to join the saints in a place that was swampy and not very nice. The place was called Commerce, Illinois. Did they have to live in the swamp? Like alligators? <laughs> no, nothing like that. But we did have to do something about it being so swampy. We renamed the area Nauvoo, a word that means beautiful. It wasn't beautiful at the time, but we had faith that it could be. So we drained the swamp and built a large city. Joseph received many revelations about the city. One of them was that we should build a boarding house. That means a place for people to stay when they arrived. Nauvoo was meant to be a welcoming place. Even though we had been attacked and driven out of every place we lived, God still wanted us to welcome all who would come. We were then ordered to build something. I bet you can guess what it was. A temple? Yes, a temple. The work that happens in the temple is so important, God wanted us to start building a temple as soon as we could. And there were so many things He still wanted to teach us about the temple that we hadn't been able to learn in Kirtland. We worked and built homes, businesses, and began working on the temple. But there was something very important to the church that was also created during this time. There was a famous red brick store in Nauvoo, and on the upper floor of that store, a new organization was founded, Relief Society. Relief Society started small, just like the rest of the church, but has grown to benefit millions of people all around the world. The first president of the Relief Society was Emma Smith. The second president was a woman named Eliza R. Snow. You may not recognize her name, but she actually wrote many of the hymns that are still in your hymn book. After so much suffering and so many difficulties, we had finally found a beautiful home of our own. In time, we would also have to leave this place, but here we were given a few years of peace and happiness. We were also given greater blessings through the temple, blessings which are still enjoyed by those who attend the temple in your day.